Hi, welcome to Contribute Tactura. I'm Jagger Egal, an apprentice, and we will be tackling about the septic tank calculations and things we need to know about the use, and some little bit of background about the project. The project is prepared by architect Eric Samovar P. Bannon. He is also a master plumber and an educator. For the project, it is a proposed three-story residential building that has a total floor area of 155.6 square meters and a total lot area of 134 square meters, located in Antipolo City, Philippines. Before we proceed... What is septic tank? A septic tank is a concrete, fiberglass, or plastic subterranean chamber through which residential wastewater runs from Regimentary sewage treatment solids and organics are reduced by settling and aerobic digestions although treatment effectiveness is only modest. What do we need to know about the septic tank? There are three topics that we'll be explaining about the septic tank. And that is capacity, volume, and length. First, let us tackle about the capacity of the septic tank for the proposed three-story project. Let us move now to the table we have. As you can see, we have a table here showing how the ability of septic tank is computed. You can also use it soon if you are aiming to be a master plumber someday since it is also based on the revised national plumbing code of the Philippines. The first columns are dwelling numbers and the proposed three story has one or two. The second column is more on multiple dwelling units which is why there are no highlighted numbers. The third column is drainage fixture units. The proposed three story has 15 units. The last column is the minimum ability in gallons and liters. The proposed three story has a minimum capacity of 750 gallons and 2838 liters. Overall, Post three story project has more than one or two number of bedrooms. And the last but not the least, all the information included is from the revised National Plumbing Code of the Philippines. First, we must keep in mind that based on the floor plan of the Matos residence, the structure has three bedrooms overall a master's bedroom, a single bedroom, and a multi purpose room. To figure out the volume of the septic tank, we must first go back to the table B2 in the revised National Plumbing Code of the Philippines. According to table B2, single family dwellings with three bedrooms have a minimum septic tank capacity of 1,000 gallons or 3,785 liters. Again, three bedrooms is equivalent to 1,000 gallons. To get the solution, to figure out the volume of the septic tank, we must first convert the values to the needed units so that we can apply them to our formula. After that, we can get the volume of the septic tank by dividing 1 cubic meter by 264.172 gallons and then multiply the answer by 1000 gallons. The minimum weight of the septic tank has the average of 0.9 meters and it can have a maximum depth of 1.5 meters. To calculate the length of the septic tank, we are given a volume of 3.785 cu. m. That is computed and illustrated by Lorenzo and a width of 1.2 meters and a depth of 1.5. To compute the length of septic tank, we need to have a formula of digestion chamber and the formula digestion chamber is L is equal to volume over width times height. When able to compute this, substitute the variables in the formula. L is equal to 3.785 cu dot m divided by 2 1.2 meters times 1.5 meters is equal to 2.1 or 2 meters. The value of length digestion chamber is 2 meters. Remember that the L is equivalent to the length of the digestion chamber. 
to get the total length of the septic tank, you have to divide 2 to the dimension of the leaching well and you have to add another leaching chamber, which is the required numbers of the chamber, or 1 digestion chamber and 2 leaching chamber. The formula for total length is total length is equal to L plus L over 2 plus L over 2. 